What would you like them to do? What is your advice to them? And if your visit this week could change one part of the government's foreign policy, what would you like it to be? Government foreign policy of British government? British yes, government. if you could get the gov British government to do one thing, what would it I be? I don't know. That I don't know. <coughs> that I think up to <laughs> Parliament. <engines. laughs> House of Commons, Maria. <laughs> the Chinese foreign policy that needs changing. Now, yes. Oh, oh. Uh, so they, uh, since my uh, our approach, I prefer you see use word our because since 2001, we already have elected political leadership. My position is semi-retired position, so I'm acting like senior advisor. So this is true. The, uh, the every decision. Uh, sometimes, uh, I, I'm sorry, the, 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 the elected leadership uh, uh, not carry uh, my sort of advice. Sometimes different sort of, kind of that decision take place. I always welcome. So we are truly, uh, I'm, I'm truly acting advisor, not real decision maker. Uh, so so I, uh, I prefer the, the, kind of the explain we. Mm. Uh, since you see that our approach, not seeking independence, seeking mutually equal solution within the framework of constitution of people's of China. So the people, uh, I think, can educate a Chinese counter, Chinese sort of people, Chinese intellectual already many Chinese intellectual now really showing genuine sort of support, genuine solidarity. So further sort of educate uh, whenever you have the opportunity. Uh, so that I think uh, one thing you can do. And then also recently, uh, I suggest I suggesting to the Chinese community uh, and also Tibetan community. Now time has come to set up one something like sino Tibetan friendship group. That's, I think, very, very important. Otherwise, you see, recently I, I noticed you see many Chinese students, very much emotion. Inside Tibet, inside China also, see, it happened. Some Tibetan family who have some restaurant or some small shop, they, uh, after this sort of crisis, uh, many Chinese, ordinary Chinese, now they refuse to come. Mm. And naturally, you see, they got, you see, wrong information. Uh, seems as government, you see, created that kind of impression. We are anti-Chinese. And also, uh, uh, not only we, but the Westerns also, you see, something like anti-Chinese. So actually not. Actually not. Okay. So, so that, that, that <coughs> I think, in, 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 in that field, I think the people, Londoner, I think certainly can help. Just, just to come back to a previous question, is there anything special you would like the British government to do to help the situation at the present time? Uh, right from the beginning, I always say against make isolation China. Not good. And China, very important nation. Uh, we must respect. And then, meantime, uh, there's a better saying, if you are true friend, close friend, then it is important to make clear the wrong things about your friend. Through friendly manner, not sort of negative way, uh, very, very positive way, <laughs> as, as, you, you, as you have mentioned, very friendly manner, very, oh. and in the meantime, I also, you see, mentioned Right from the beginning, economy is important, but human values are more important. Human issue, more important, uh, like human rights, and also the environment issue. These are very, very important. Uh, so uh, while you are making close relation in business field, business interest, there is no point to neglect or forget about principles. 
that I think very very important.